Oh, what's he doing now? What's he doing now? Looks like she's taking the rubber off the uh, the front deck. That's really heavy stuff. I remember bringing it. Getting rid of stuff off the front deck by the looks of things. It's just too many jobs at once. I'd be focused on just finishing one job before you move on to the next, but you know. I'm not going to tell her what to do. And, uh, what are you doing? Cutting the rubber up. I'd have wasted till Ben's home or something. I'm joking. He can help you take you carry all that. a month. He can uh, help you carry all that. It's going today. I've just got to cut it up smaller. I'll go and cut up what I've got on the back. Yeah. Where's I'll the rope? That. Where's all the rope? It's in the dinghy. Oh, is it? Yeah. I don't think we should throw that. Because uh, always need rope on boats. I've got a bigger knife if you want. Now I've been doing some further research on the B826 uh, German helmet and I have discovered something that I didn't know. I know Schubert was the company in Germany that manufactured them for the German army and I knew this other company in Doico which is a Spanish company manufactured them for the, the Dutch army but I've also found out today because I'm not an expert but I am learning about this particular helmet at the moment um, I did discover that in Doico of Munich also made them for the German army. Now that's a new one on me. So the Induco helmet is not, strictly speaking, Dutch. Okay. Now I've got a German helmet downstairs um, in really, really good order, and I'm not about to undo the bolts because <laughs> they just round up and they're difficult to get off. So. It's in such good order, I'm keeping it. And it is a German one, it says Bundeswehr in there. Um, but I don't know if it's manufactured by Schubert or it's manufactured by... I have to keep looking at the group written down, in Doiko. I don't know. So in Doiko and Schubert both manufacture helmets for the German army. So I just wanted to put that out there. Here we go again, we're off to... where are we off to? Chino's. Chinese shop. God bless chinos. Why don't you buy half a dozen washing up bowls and then we won't have to keep going as often. I'll get to. It's, I've been using this one now since we did the copper table. It's done very well. I mean they're really cheap and they're really um, perfect aren't they for what you're doing. Yeah. I'll try and get one of those stainless steel ones. No, no, no. They no, won't split no. when you're trying to bash the stuff out. The plastic ones are much better. Are they? I didn't expect getting rid of that rubber to be as difficult as it was. Well, it was fucking heavy when we bought it's, it. It's really heavy. Um, even cut up into little pieces, it's heavy. In fact, I might bring it down to one of these bins and post it through there. I'll bring it down in the car. Mm. Get it out of the way. Oh, and well, we've got to go to the office. Don't let me forget. Afterwards, yes, yes. I've got some deliveries. And I feel that's really good because that's the last really large... Oh no, it's not the last really large area. The last one is the back deck, isn't it? That's actually not that big compared to the bow. That you see, when we get back, I'll seal in those front three windows, and that's it. They're they're done. And I might even start on the point of the bow. 
Yeah. Maybe. Do you not think your copper railings will go green? No, because they'll be lacquered. What are you going to lacquer it with? Probably resin. No oh, way. Hmm. Yeah, that might work. Well, I know it will. It will stop the oxygen from getting to it, making it go green. Because it will definitely go green if you don't do anything. Yeah. Anyway, Lorena was pleased to see me this morning. Good, good, good. She said she'd forgotten all about it as well. People are always pleased to see you when you're bringing them money, paying them for things. Always pay the lawyer. Always pay the lawyer. Especially if you've got a good one. Yeah, and they are, they're bloody brilliant, those guys. That's what you need if you live in Spain, is a good lawyer. Yeah. It helps you out of tricky situations where the language barrier can be a problem. Yeah. They're related to loads of police as well. Yeah, so they're quite useful. Yeah. Don't you be looking at the boat. Do you concentrate on driving? I wasn't concentrating on... This is idiot row, you know idiot Oh, no, and it's rush hour. I mean, there's a space big enough to get a double-decker bus in. He could actually and use And they that. actually stop and reverse into these spaces. They stop on a dual-lane dual carriageway double carriage where they stop and reverse into the space instead of going in forwards. I think why? Why did you do that? We're trained to reverse into parking spaces, are you? I've seen your training on roundabouts. Why doesn't that surprise me? <sighs> we must do some video from the Hong Kong walk. I want to sit in that window in the corner and just film the roundabout. And show them exactly what I mean. It'll be some decision made by someone of the Ministry of Swishing Doors that decided everyone has to go round the roundabout on the outside, even if you're doing a complete U turn. Cambio de sentido, all the way round the outside. Some police cars do it, so it's obviously the law in Spain. It is the law, it is. When Faith took her driving test, he sent her a couple of videos. That's a big thing people fail on here in Spain showing you must go on the outside just so you annoy everyone on the inside. What's the point in the inside lane then? Do you reckon they'll let us film inside Tino's? I don't know, they might be a bit funny about it. I've wanted to before, it's, they're astonishing shops, they're brilliant shops. I'll go for it, I'll see if, we, if, we, if they let us. Room to get out. Yes, thank you. Good, just check it. You're looking for a new t shirt? Yeah, I was just looking, I'm looking for some clothes. They've all got fashion, fashion written on them. Sweeping the front deck, actually. Okay, I'll probably leave. Anything else you want, you can think of while you're here? No, I don't think so. Don't need any more masking tape or anything. How come there's all this traffic coming the other way if, if the 
traffic lights are on red the pedestrian crossing. They changed the timing on that particular oh, pedestrian line. It's still a big long tail now. It's rush hour. Uh, Bunny! Oh. Big rabbit. oh, it's a white rabbit! <laughs> big one! And another one! Long green grass for them. restaurant? No. Is that the day before? I think so. That's why I'm curious, what did we eat? I don't remember eating. I don't know. can't remember back that far. We went shopping yesterday, we got everything. Yeah, but we normally leave it in the car. Because it's so... I brought everything back, believe me. Did you? Did you use the trolley? For all the heavy stuff? No, I took it bit by bit. Oh, right. Where's my beer? Oh, well, that's in the back of the booth. Oh, so you didn't bring everything? I don't care about that. That's your beer. You did you did. You, my beer doesn't count. You had gin and tonic. I did. I was on the tonic. I brought the fucking tonics for you. You did. You did. That's right. I had gin and tonic for dinner last night. Yeah, I don't think we had anything to eat yesterday. I'm not hungry, are you? Well, you have the cottage cheese, don't you, in the morning? Yeah. And the, uh, the flaxseed oil. Oh, it works. That sort of ruins my appetite for the whole day. Might have a nibble in the evening. Well, yeah, it's better for you. You know, you eat that. Do you think? Yes. I thought dairy products weren't not supposed to be good for you. No, this one's really good for you. <coughs> Even the NHS and... Not, they're yes, all... but they're always changing their minds, aren't they, about what's good for you and what isn't. No, I think what you're confusing is um, food companies that pay for puff pieces saying, oh, eat this and, you know, this will make you feel better. Well, they should ban condiment adverts, shouldn't they, if condiments are so bad for people? You're only I mean, meant they ban, to have a little they ban cigarette somewhere. adverts. Cigarette adverts were massive. I remember they used to sponsor all the racing teams, the Formula One teams, the um, aerobatic teams. Remember the Rothmans? One of my favourite aerobatic teams, the Rothman Specials. There used to be an advert, apparently, with a, a surgeon, a heart surgeon, who'd just come out of theatre, covered in blood. Mm. My mate Robin was telling me about it, and he went, Oh, I like a good cigarette when I finished. It's so good for you and relaxing. Smoking's good for you. <laughs> Gives you a deep throaty voice. <laughs> cough, 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 cough. Shocking. Oh, I want to get some Marmite from Eroski. I'll go tomorrow when I get the tea bags. But you haven't got enough tea bags to last. Do you think not? Definitely not. I'm not going tonight, I'll go in the morning. That'll give me motivation and it I'll means get a... you'll be you'll be gasping. I better go straight on the gin and tonic or the beer and we can save the uh, the precious tea bags for you because we've got an emergency reserve tea caddy which we have emergency oh, reserve oh. tea bags in and um, we're almost empty on reserve but I, I I can take or leave tea you see I'm not that fussed I'm, I'm quite happy to, I've got coffee there I can drink coffee yeah, I'll get a jar You're more of a tea night, person than a coffee person, aren't you? I like coffee, actually. I hate coffee. That's probably why I don't get it so much. The coffee, I mean. Well, you're a grown man. You can, you buy, can buy, your own own, buy your own jar, make I'm going to buy coffee. Soldier On coffee. And support ex-veterans. 
I wouldn't get involved if I were you. You just get accused of this, accused of that. Oh, you get accused anyway, so I don't care. God, I suppose I've been on Twitter all fucking day. I haven't really been slaving on the boat. It's nutters. Yes, but we know who I really they are. I really hate this railing because it's just the wrong height. I can't see my boat properly. Oh, it's looking good. We're getting there. Bit by bit, Graham. Bit by bit, Fiona. Why do they wait until the car's almost on top? I know, and then go, away. like, they're going to leap into the road. Decide to step out. It's, it's a control thing, isn't it? It's and he's on his phone, he's on an app. Yeah. Some people deserve to be run over, they really do. Poor car driver. I hate to say that. For it. But, you know, That's some a people terrible have... thing to say. It is. Don't let me forget to go to the office. Oh shit, yeah, yeah, we've got to go and get deliveries. My silky gloves, I suppose. They're supposed to be here today. Your sanding discs are definitely here. And um, your pipe. The mount. The mount. Your cravat should be, should be here. Well, if it's not here today, it'll be here tomorrow. Thing is, no, you can't. It arrived leave yesterday. Oh, all those people. Where are they going? All walking to the end so they can turn around and walk back because walking is good for you. Unless you step out in front of a car and the light is not on green for pedestrians, then it's not good for you. I, I actually got lost going to the lawyer's office this morning. How can you get lost going there? Oh, I don't know. Uh, anyway, they've done loads of work in town. You wouldn't recognise it. We should go in there more The often. road is so fancy. You know where uh, you got the Esplanade? Yeah, yeah. Pop out the other side. They've done all the road there. And um, that really, really busy road that goes... You know the one that goes by the bingo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one way now. Really narrow. And very, very quiet. Well, you're spending that was a, lot a really money on it busy it's road. All, it's all with this border thing. Yeah, they're getting ready the politicians for resolve this border thing, that town will be thriving. Because there'll be 40,000 jibbos that want well, yeah, to all the Gibraltarians and they, enjoy a night out. Gibraltarians spend their money in La Linea. So you'd think that they would well... Well, I know the mayor of La Linea welcomes yeah. the... Well, while the border's been funny, nobody crosses economics. the border unless they... Yeah, look at Bonham's windows. Oh, you've turned. To. Never mind. Oh, yeah, I'll do... A, I'm sure, do you Bonham. know, I'm sure Bonham was grey last year. I think they've painted it. Right, back in a minute. Thank you, Cookie. That's Bonham. Um, that Fiona was just referring to. It's the rock off. going to be dark soon. I'm just cutting up the last of the rubber deck from the bow which is really huge and really heavy. I don't want to take it down to the main bins in the marina. This has taken up most of the day just taking that cutting it up and taking it off the bow. That is a big bow. It is. <sighs> then I'll show you what the, what the bow looks like now. It's going to be ready to be matted soon. Oh thank you Christine for the clock. I love the clock. It's spectacular. That was really generous of you. I put a battery in. I got it working. Excellent. But unfortunately, the um, the glass got damaged in the post. I'm sure we can get some proper glass, Graham. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry about that. I'll sort that. Graham is the clock man. He knows. I am. And that's a really fabulous clock. I'm super impressed gorgeous. with that, Christine. Thank you. I love it. Be careful. You don't cut yourself.
Oh, that's what you wanted those great big bin liners yeah, for. Yeah, then I'm going to drag each of them down so it doesn't make a mess all the way. Use the trolley. They won't fit on the trolley. You daft. Fiona, come and check this clock out. It's gorgeous. What do you think of this? I love it. Don't open it because the glass will fall out. I, I think haven't. maybe up here. I've got to um, sort a new piece of glass out. I love it, absolutely love it. Yeah, she emailed me and um, I said to her, that's really, really generous and really kind. I didn't want her to go to any trouble, but uh, she really wanted to do it and uh, it's here now. We've got to decide where you're going to put it. Where's the best place for it? I'm wondering about here, um, perhaps above the window, you know, where we go up and down the stairs all the time. I think it's too big for the... What do you mean? What it won't diameter wise? I yeah, I don't so. think the wood's wide enough. What about in the galley? Maybe in the galley. Or in yeah. the saloon because it's I mean, a really nice I mean, there's all kinds nice of places clock. it can go now because the, the boat doesn't leak anymore. Have a think about it and then get back to me. Far bit from me to put it in the wrong place. Okay, she's uh, she's dragging the uh, next but one. There's one left on the pontoon with the rubber in. She's dragging him to the car and then taking him to the main bins, which are just down there somewhere. The sun has gone down. Let's have a look at the, uh, the deck, the front bow that she's been uh, ripping this rubber up. The rubber was great, you know, when we put it down. It, it worked well for a while, but not really. Here we go. Here's the deck. This is how it looks today. And she's going to clean it up and refire the glass, the whole front deck again. We've got one small leak in Ben's room. Maybe it comes from the hat, but we're going to replace the hat. We're going to put a new hat in there. And there's the winch that she polished up. The bronze winch. And the radio mics arrived today from eBay. They uh, came all the way from Timbuktu, as you know, and they took five and a half years to get here. No, I'm lying. They came from England and uh, took about a fortnight, actually, maybe longer. All the way from, uh, well, it's not in the EU anymore, is it? That's why. Oops, don't get political, Graham. No, I don't do politics on my channel. Anyway, here we are. Radio mics, look, there they are. They're on charge as we speak. So I'll get Fiona to do a radio check later once they're charged. Once I've got the green lights on them. Um, they just clip onto your belt and you've got a microphone that you clip on somewhere. And hopefully, hopefully they'll work. Now, I didn't throw the other microphones away because the, the sound quality was dreadful on them. And I was going to throw them away, then I thought, mm, maybe it, they'll be all right on a different phone because they just plug into the connector on the phone and my phone, you know, it may be all right on a different phone. So I'll, I'll have to check them before I throw them away. Oh, wife's back. Is that the last one, sweetheart? She's tireless, she never stops, she's uh, relentless. She's like a Terminator, my wife, she never ever stops. <laughs>